The Kaddish or Kaddish Aramaic, Qudis, Qudis, holy. Alternative spelling, Kaddish is a hymn of praises to God found in Jewish prayer services. The central theme of the Kaddish is the magnification and sanctification of God's name. In the liturgy, different versions of the Kaddish are used functionally as separators between sections of the service. The term, Kaddish, is often used to refer specifically to the mourner's Kaddish. Said as part of the morning rituals in Judaism in all prayer services, as well as at funerals other than at the gravesite, see Kaddish Ahar Hakvara, Kaddish after burial, and memorials, and for eleven months after the death of a close relative. When mention is made of saying Kaddish, this unambiguously refers to the rituals of mourning. Mourners say Kaddish to show that despite the loss they still praise God. The opening words of this prayer are inspired by Ezekiel chapter 38 verse 23, a vision of God becoming great in the eyes of all the nations. The central line of the Kaddish in Jewish tradition is the congregation's response, Yehe semei rabba mebaraki lilam vlelemei alamaya y semei rabba emvarak el alam ul alm almaya. May his great name be blessed forever, and to all eternity. A public declaration of God's greatness and eternality. This response is an Aramaic translation of the Hebrew, Brauch esm kabed melkutu luom ud, Blessed be his name, whose glorious kingdom is forever, which is to be found in the Targum Pseudo Jonathan, Brick swim e cry me Elman Genesis chapter 49 verse 2 and Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 4, and is similar to the wording of Daniel chapter 2 verse 20. The mourners, rabbis, and complete Kaddish end with a supplication for peace. Osa shalom which is in Hebrew, and is somewhat similar to the Tanakh Job chapter 25 verse 2. Along with the Shema Yisrael and Amidah, the Kaddish is one of the most important and central elements in the Jewish liturgy. Kaddish cannot be recited alone. Along with some prayers, it can only be recited with a minyan of ten Jews. History and background The Kaddish is in origin a closing doxology to an agotic discourse. Most of it is written in Aramaic, which, at the time of its original composition, was the lingua franca of the Jewish people. It is not composed in the vernacular Aramaic, however, but rather in a literary, jargon Aramaic that was used in the academies, and is identical to the dialect of the Targum. Professor Yoel Elitzer, however, argues that the Kaddish was originally written in Hebrew, and later translated to Aramaic to be better understood by the masses. He notes that quotations from the Kaddish in the Talmud and Sifere are in Hebrew, and that even today some of the words are Hebrew rather than Aramaic. The oldest version of the Kaddish is found in the Siddur of Rab Amram Gaon, c. 900. Shira Schoenberg observes that the first mention of mourners saying Kaddish at the end of the service is in a 13th century Halakhic writing by Isaac ben Moses of Vienna, the Arzurua. Light is sown. Quote closing parenthesis dot. The Kaddish at the end of the service became designated as Kaddish Yatim or mourners Kaddish, literally. Orphans Kaddish. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Variant forms. The various versions of the Kaddish are Hasi Kaddish, Hazi Kudis or Kaddish El Ella, Kudis El El literally, half Kaddish, sometimes called the Reader's Kaddish. Kaddish Yadam, Kudis Etum or Kaddish Yehi Shlama Rabba, Kudis Y S L M R B literally, Orphan's Kaddish, although commonly referred to as Kaddish Avalam, Kudis Blim, the Mourner's Kaddish. Kaddish Shalom, Kudis SLM or Kaddish Tikkabel, Kudis Tidikubel, literally, complete Kaddish, or whole Kaddish. Kaddish de Rabbanan, Kudis Derbin or Kaddish al Yisrael, Kudis el Ysrl, literally, Kaddish of the Rabbis. Kaddish Ahar Hakwara, Kudis Our Hkubur, literally, Kaddish after a burial. Also called Kaddish de Thedata, Kudis Deeth, named after one of the first distinguishing words in this variant. Kaddish Ahar Hashlamat Maseshe, Qudis Our HSLMT Misk literally, Kaddish after the completion of a tractate, i.e. at Asayim in Sephardi practice, same as Kaddish Darabanan, also called Kaddish Haggadal, Qudis the Great Kaddish, 
As it is the longest Kaddish, all versions of the Kaddish begin with the Hatzi Kaddish there are some extra passages in the Kaddish after a burial or a Siam. The longer versions contain additional paragraphs, and are often named after distinctive words in those paragraphs. The half Kaddish is used to punctuate divisions within the service, for example, before Berchu, between the Shema Yisrael and the Amida and following readings from the Torah. The Kaddish Diabanan is used after any part of the service that includes extracts from the Mishnah or the Talmud, as its original purpose was to close a study session. Kaddish Titkabal originally marked the end of the service, though in later times extra passages and hymns were added to follow it. The Jewish Encyclopedia's article on Kaddish mentions an additional type of Kaddish, called Kaddish Yahid individuals Kaddish". This is included in the Siddur of Amram Gaon, but is a meditation taking the place of Kaddish rather than a Kaddish in the normal sense. <laughs> Text of the Kaddish The following includes the half, complete, mourners and rabbis Kaddish. The variant lines of the Kaddish after a burial or a siam are given below. Topic: <laughs> Text of the burial Kaddish. In the burial Kaddish, and that after a siam according to Ashkenazim, I lines two to three are replaced by. Topic: <laughs> Recent additions to Osa Shalom. In some recent prayer books, for example, the American Reform Machzor, line 36 is replaced with This effort to extend the reach of Osa Shalom to non-Jews is said to have been started by the British Liberal Jewish Movement in 1967, with the introduction of V.L. Kolb and I Adam, and upon all children of Adam. These words continue to be used by some in the UK. Note, the phrase BNDM ben Adam place. Bani DM Bani Adam literally means son of Adam, or Son of man, but in Hebrew usage the phrase is taken to mean human. The British usage above, then would be to invoke peace on all humankind, rather than on sons of children or descendants of Adam. Topic <laughs> Notes Bracketed text varies according to personal or communal traditions. Before line 16, accept our prayer with mercy and favor. Before line 28, May the name of God be blessed, from now and forever. Psalms 113-2 Before line 34, My help is from God, Creator of heaven and earth. Psalms 121-2 In line 1, as noted in A, the congregation responds, Amen, even though this commonly is not printed in most prayer books. This long-standing and widespread tradition actually introduces a break in the verse which may lead to misinterpretation as the phrase, according to his will, would then appear to apply only to, which he created, instead of to, magnified and sanctified. It is common that the entire congregation recites lines 8 and 9 with the leader, and it is also common that the congregation will include in its collective recitation the first word of the next line, line 10, yit barak. This is commonly thought to be done to prevent any interruption before the next line which begins with Yitbarak is recited by the leader. But this inclusion of Yitbarak has not always been the case. Maimonides and the Tur did not include it in the congregation's recitation, Amram Gaon, the Vilna Gaon, and the Shulchan Aruch include it. <laughs> Customs The Kaddish, as used in the services on special days is chanted. There are different melodies in different Jewish traditions and within each tradition the melody can change according to the version, the day it is said and even the position in the service, many mourners recite it slowly and contemplatively. Virtual Cantor's Kaddish Shalom for Shabbat Masaf Virtual Cantor's Hatzi Kaddish for Yom Kippur and Sephardi synagogues The whole congregation sits for Kaddish, except during the Kaddish immediately before the Amidah, where everyone stands. During the mourner's Kaddish, where those reciting it stand and everyone else sits. In Ashkenazi synagogues, the custom varies. Very commonly, in both Orthodox and Reform congregations, everyone stands, but in some especially many conservative and Hasidic synagogues, most of the congregants sit. 
Sometimes, a distinction is made between the different forms of Kaddish, or each congregant stands or sits according to his or her own custom. The mourner's Kaddish is often treated differently from the other variations of Kaddish in the service, as is the half Kaddish before the mafter, those standing to recite the Kaddish bow, by widespread tradition, at various places. Generally, at the first word of the prayer, at each Amen, at Yit Barak, at Brik Hu, and for the last verse Osa Shalom. For Osa Shalom it is customary take three steps back if possible, then bow to one's left, then to one's right, and finally bow forward, as if taking leave of the presence of a king, in the same way as when the same words are used as the concluding line of the Amida. <laughs> Minyan requirement Maseket Sofram, an 8th-century compilation of Jewish laws regarding the preparation of holy books and public reading, states chapter 10 to 7 that Kaddish may be recited only in the presence of a minyan at least ten men. While the traditional view is that, if Kaddish is said in private, then by definition it is not Kaddish. Some alternatives have been suggested, including the Kaddish Liachid, Kaddish for an individual attributed to 9th-century Gaon Amram bar Sheshna, and the use of Kavana prayer, asking heavenly beings to join with the individual, to make a minyan of both earth and heaven. <laughs> Mourner's Kaddish Mourner's Kaddish is said at all prayer services and certain other occasions. It is written in Aramaic. It takes the form of Kaddish Yehi Shelama Rabbah, and is traditionally recited several times, most prominently at or towards the end of the service, after the Alenu and or closing psalms and or on the Sabbath Aniim Zemarat. Following the death of a parent, child, spouse, or sibling it is customary to recite the mourner's Kaddish in the presence of a congregation daily for 30 days, or 11 months in the case of a parent, and then at every anniversary of the death. The mourner who says the Kaddish will be any person present at a service who has the obligation to recite Kaddish in accordance with these rules. Customs for reciting the mourner's Kaddish vary markedly among various communities. In Sephardi synagogues, the custom is that all the mourners stand and chant the Kaddish together. In Ashkenazi synagogues, the earlier custom was that one mourner be chosen to lead the prayer on behalf of the rest, though most congregations have now adopted the Sephardi custom. In many Reform synagogues, the entire congregation recites the mourners' Kaddish together. This is sometimes said to be for those victims of the Holocaust who have no one left to recite the mourners' Kaddish on their behalf. In some congregations, especially Reform and conservative ones, the rabbi will read a list of the deceased who have a yarzait on that day or who have died within the past month, and then ask the congregants to name any people they are mourning for. Some synagogues try to multiply the number of times that the mourner's Kaddish is recited, for example, reciting a separate mourner's Kaddish after both Elenu and then each closing psalm. Other synagogues limit themselves to one mourner's Kaddish at the end of the service. Saying the mourner's Kaddish was mostly prohibited for Orthodox Jewish women, but is now becoming more common. In 2013 the Israeli Orthodox rabbinical organization Beit Hillel issued a Halashik ruling which allows women, for the first time, to say the Kaddish in memory of their deceased parents. It is important to note that the mourner's Kaddish does not mention death at all, but instead praises God. Though the Kaddish is often popularly referred to as the Jewish prayer for the dead, that designation more accurately belongs to the prayer called El Malay Rachamim, which specifically prays for the soul of the deceased. Topic. Use of the Kaddish in the arts The Kaddish has been a particularly common theme and reference point in the arts, including the following. Topic. In literature and publications Alphabetical by author In Shai Offsize, The Kaddish a poignant short story that could happen in almost any town with a small Jewish community, a group of elderly men trying to form a minyan in order to recite the Kaddish confront the differences between Judaism's denominations. Kaddish is a poem, divided into 21 sections and of almost 700 pages length, by German poet Paulus Bomer. The first 10 sections appeared in 2002, the remaining 11 in 2007. It celebrates the world, through mourning its demise. 
Kaddish in Dublin 1990 crime novel by John Brady where an Irish Jew is involved with a plot to subvert the Irish government. In Nathan Englander's novel set during the Dirty Wars in Argentina, the Ministry of Special Cases, the protagonist is an Argentinian Jew named Kaddish. In Torch Song Trilogy 1982, written by Harvey Fierstein, the main character Arnold Beckoff says the mourner's Kaddish for his murdered lover, Alan, much to the horror of his homophobic mother. In Frederick Forsyth's novel The Odessa File, a Jew who commits suicide in 1960s Germany requests in his diary, suicide note that someone say Kaddish for him in Israel. At the end of the novel, a Mossad agent involved in the plot, who comes into possession of the diary, fulfills the dead man's wish. Kaddish is one of the most celebrated poems by the beat poet Allen Ginsberg. It appeared in Kaddish and Other Poems, a collection he published in 1961. The poem was dedicated to his mother, Naomi Ginsberg (1894–1956). Kaddish book, a novel by Yehiel de Noor. Kaddish for an unborn child is a novel by the Hungarian Nobel laureate Imre Kertész. Who will say Kaddish? A search for Jewish identity in contemporary Poland. Text by Larry N. Mayer with photographs by Gary Gelb, Syracuse University Press, 2002. In the September 20, 1998 Nickelodeon's Rugrats comic strip, the character Grandpa Boris recites the mourner's Kaddish in the synagogue. This particular strip led to controversy with the Anti-Defamation League. The Mystery of Kaddish. Rav. Dovber Pinson. Explains and explores the Kabbalistic and deeper meaning of the Kaddish. In Philip Roth's novel The Human Stain, the narrator states that the mourner's Kaddish signifies that a Jew is dead. Another Jew is dead. As though death were not a consequence of life but a consequence of having been a Jew. Zadie Smith's novel, The Autograph Man, revolves around Alex Lee Tandem, a dealer in autograph memorabilia whose father's Yarzate is approaching. The epilogue of the novel features a scene in which Alex Lee recites Kaddish with a minyan. Several references to the mourner's Kaddish are made in Night by Elie Wiesel. Though the prayer is never directly said, references to it are common, including to times when it is customarily recited, but omitted. Leon Wieseltier's Kaddish is a book-length hybrid of memoirs of the author's year of mourning after the death of his father, history, historiography and philosophical reflection, all centered on the mourner's Kaddish. In music Alphabetical by Creator Kaddish is the name of Symphony No. 3 by Leonard Bernstein, a dramatic work for orchestra, mixed chorus, boys' choir, speaker and soprano solo dedicated to the memory of John F. Kennedy who was assassinated on November 22, 1963, just weeks before the first performance of this symphony. The symphony is centered on the Kaddish text. The Kaddish is spoken in Part 5 of the Avodath HaKodesh sacred service by the composer Ernest Bloch 1933. Kaddish is a work for cello and orchestra by David Diamond. Kaddish is the title for a work by W. Francis Macbeth for a concert band, based on the chant of the prayer. Macbeth composed this work as a memorial for his teacher J. Clifton Williams. Kaddish is a track by Gina X. Performance. Kaddish is the 34th movement in La Passion Segan San Marcos by composer Osvaldo Galajo. The French composer Maurice Ravel composed a piano and violin song using part of the Kaddish. It was commissioned in 1914 by Alvina Alvi as part of a set of two songs, Der Melodies Ebraiques, and was first performed in June 1914 by Alvi with Ravel at the piano. Kaddish Shalom is a musical work by Salomon Rossi C, composed for five voices in homophonic style, the very first polyphonic setting of this text, in his Hashirim Asher Lashomo, The Song of Solomon. Inspired by Kaddish is a 15-movement musical composition by Lawrence Siegel. One of the movements is the prayer itself, the remaining 14 are stories of the experiences of a number of Holocaust survivors Lawrence interviewed. It was debuted by the Keene State College Chamber Singers in 2008. Mieczysław Weinberg's Symphony No. 21 is subtitled, Kaddish. The symphony, composed in 1991, is dedicated to Holocaust victims from the Warsaw Ghetto. 
Concept album Kaddish created by Richard Wolfson with Andy Saunders using the band name Towering Inferno. Canadian poet, songwriter, artist Leonard Cohen uses words from the Kaddish in his 2016 final album entitled, You Want It Darker, specifically in the title song, during the chorus. Asterisk. Topic. Online Mira Zia Myras and Aaron Elvang have taken the Kaddish as a starting point for a year long collaboration titled, Kaddish in Two Part Harmony, consisting of a jointly written blog and daily podcast recording of Lev Kogan's, Kaddish, for solo horn. Topic. On screen, in film Chronological In the 1973 film Les Aventures de Rabbi Jacob The Mad Adventures of Rabbi Jacob, it is chanted at the end of the Bar Mitzvah service. In the film The Passover Plot 1976, a revived Jesus dies finally and is mourned with a Kaddish recitation by a disciple. In the 1980 film The Jazz Singer starring Neil Diamond, character Cantor Rabinovich Lawrence Olivier says the Kaddish while disowning his son. The Kaddish helps bring forth the power needed to evoke the emotion of loss. In Rocky III 1982, Rocky Balboa recites the mourner's Kaddish for Mickey. In the film Yentl 1983, at Yentl's father's burial, the rabbi asks who will say Kaddish Kaddish is traditionally said by a son. Yentl replies that she will and, to the horror of those assembled, grabs the sitter and starts saying Kaddish. In Torch Song Trilogy 1988, Arnold portrayed by playwright Harvey Fierstein says the mourner's Kaddish for his murdered lover, Alan, and Arnold's mother portrayed by Anne Bancroft strongly protests. Film Saying the Kaddish 1999 by Dan Fraser The Kaddish is recited in the film Schindler's List 1993, in the last scene at the factory. On screen, in television Alphabetical by program title In the television series Drawn Together, Toot Bronstein recites the mourner's Kaddish in the episode, A Very Special Drawn Together After School Special, after saying that her son was metaphorically dead. In the television show Everwood, Ephraim Brown recites the mourner's Kaddish at his mother's unveiling. In the second season finale of Homeland, The Choice, CIA agent Saul Berenson Mandy Patankin recites the mourner's Kaddish while standing over the corpses of victims of a terrorist attack. Kaddish is the title of Homicide, Life on the Street episode 5.17, in which Detective John Munch, Richard Belzer, who is Jewish, investigates the rape and murder of his childhood sweetheart. Kaddish for Uncle Manny, episode 4.22 of Northern Exposure first aired 3 May 93 relates to Joel's Rob Morrow seeking out of ten Jews in remote Alaska to join him for Kaddish in memory of his recently departed Uncle Manny in New York City. Joel eventually decides, though, that saying Kaddish for his uncle is best accomplished in the presence of his new Sicily family, who although Gentile, are most near and dear to him. The second season of the series Quantico, FBI Special Agent Nima Amin, herself a Muslim, recites the mourner's Kaddish at Simon Asher's unveiling. The fictional character Dan Turpin was killed by Darkseid in Superman, the animated series, and a rabbi said Kaddish at his funeral. An on-screen, post-episode message dedicated the episode to Jack Kirby, a Jewish comic book artist, who influenced much of the comic book community. In the series Touched by an Angel, Episode 3.5 Season 3, Episode 5, Henry Moskowitz, a proud archaeologist on a dig at a Navajo excavation site, receives a surprise visit from Zeta grandfather. Sam hopes to reconcile with his grandson and Jewish family faith by asking him to say Kaddish. Kaddish is the title of the X-Files Episode 4.15 Season 4, Episode 15, in which a golem is avenging a murder. Topic. On stage, in dance, theater and musicals In Tony Kushner's play Angels in America and the subsequent TV miniseries, the characters of Louis Ironson and Ethel Rosenberg say the Kaddish over Roy Cohn's dead body. Louis, a non-practicing Jew, mistakenly identifies the Kaddish as being written in Hebrew. 
Kaddish is a female dance solo choreographed by Anna Sokolow to music by Maurice Ravel. The mourner's Kaddish can be heard being recited by Collins and Roger during the song, La Vie Bohème, in the musical Rent. See also Bereavement in Judaism <laughs>